so we got up at about 5 30 and right now it's 7 and we just got finished at chick-fil-a and then now we're just gonna drive until we can't which will probably be another hour because i always have to pee so hey everyone we made it to jacksonville and we just ate dinner at joe's crab shack and it was good would you say it was good I'm speechless. <laughs> um, anyway, it was definitely good. And yeah, we walked to the beach for a minute, and now we are just gonna go check into our hotel. I think first we're gonna stop at Target and get a few things because it is right across from our hotel, and then I'll update you guys then. <laughs> guys I thought I would do a quick update it is still the first night that we're here and um, it's been a really good day actually we got to go to Joe's Crab Shack for lunch and then afterwards we had to go to Target because we needed what did we need oh flashlight for walking on the beach which isn't gonna happen because I'm tired and then we went to Publix to just get waters and this bio light stuff which is like this drink it's kind of like liquid iv but i thought it might be good just in case i have to get a lot of blood work done because tomorrow i have i think three blood tests scheduled um with my appointment at 9 20 but we'll definitely keep you updated tomorrow and then we went to this cute place called Kilwins. they like make their own chocolate and a bunch of other stuff i think jacob got a caramel apple and then we got ice cream from there as well but yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I also got this shirt at Target, which is hilarious because I showed you guys earlier and I told you I would probably wear Jacob's shirt, but then we saw it at Target and we just thought I should get my own because we both like wearing it, so why not? But anyway, I will update you guys in the morning. Um, we're probably gonna wake up around 7.30 and then we have to be there at 9.20, so we'll need to leave here by nine. It's really nice and we're staying at Hampton at the Hilton or something. Um, and it's pretty much like 10 minutes from the beach and I think also 10 minutes from Mayo Clinic. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll update you later. Hi everyone, it is the next morning and we just finished eating the hotel breakfast. And now, because why not have breakfast dessert while you're in Florida, I am going to try this thing that I got at Kilwin. It's a marshmallow covered in caramel and chocolate, so... Yeah, and then we're gonna head to Mayo Clinic. I did wanna show you guys this cute little pumpkin that we got at Target. It's like wooden, I love it. And um, right now we are about to leave for Mayo Clinic, so wish us luck, even though you'll be seeing this after everything's over. All right guys, we just got done with the first like three appointments and we're still at Mayo. We are going to come back here in a little after we go to the hotel, but I do have hypermobile spectrum disorder, which is the same thing as hypermobile EDS, which is what we thought. Cute. See the big M? Okay guys, so it's super sunny and the water might be super loud, but we got Starbucks, of course. I just got a pumpkin cream cold brew and pretty much I do occupational therapy today and then tomorrow I'll have an, it was it the echocardiogram? I have the echocardiogram and then I will have a consultation with a physical therapist as well. And then we're probably just gonna hang out. We may go get some pizza tonight and go hang out at the beach for a little, but and pretty much what I've been doing today is I went and met with the Ellers Danlos specialist for my hypermobility and he did say that I had hypermobile spectrum disorder which is essentially hypermobile EDS. He told me they're the same thing. 
and then I also had to get a lot of blood work, a urine test, and then um, an electrocardiogram. So that's pretty much all they've done so far. And then I have a few other things scheduled in November just because they couldn't do it while we were here, which is fine. So I'll go, I'll come back in November. Hi guys, so I thought I would show you what they actually gave me at occupational therapy. They did give me tips to help with the chronic pain and chronic fatigue and hypermobility. And um, I thought they were good, so I just thought I would share them. So for me, a big thing that causes me a lot of stress and trouble is actually cooking. Because by the end of the day, I really don't have the energy to be doing that at all. And it sucks because you have to cook, then clean up, and then also shower. Which I know doesn't sound like a lot to most people, but showering does take a lot of energy for me. So... They recommended that I do get a shower chair for sure. Um, that way it doesn't take that much energy out of me. And also like one of the shower heads that pulls off and you can like wash your body with it sitting down. So I thought that was a really good idea because Jacob and I had already been talking about that just cause showering is one of the tougher things for me. And then also we talked about just cooking, how to make things easier and apparently there's L-shaped knives so you use your whole arm instead of having your fingers and wrist hyperextend like let me show you maybe I can I don't know I don't know if that shows you like how badly my fingers hyperextend but um, that is what they're doing all the time so they're having to like overcompensate because they're not supposed to do that and so it's very straining on my muscles so they actually gave me some finger splints, which these are really cool because when I'm writing, since that's one of the things that really hyperextends my fingers and makes them like lock up, when I'm writing, it doesn't allow them to even be able to do that. So that is something that was very, very helpful. And I think they told me I can order more online, which I probably will do because that's a daily task that I'll need to do. And that's what occupational therapy is for. And then also for knives or anything that I have to hold because holding hyper extends like all of my fingers even my thumb so like holding a pencil and holding a knife holding things like that that are thin is hard so they gave me some of this pipe and they said I could also order some more of this on Amazon but it just has a slit right here and you can slide it around whatever you need to slide it around sorry my arms getting really tired you can slide it on whatever you need it to slide on and then that pretty much makes your grip bigger so your fingers can like either wrap around it and you can use your arm or your fingers just don't have to hyperextend because my hands and my wrists give out a lot or lock up a lot. So that is something that I found very helpful and then I have the most trouble opening jars and opening like bottles and stuff like that so they gave me some of this paper i forget what it's called it is supposed to help with opening things and not causing my fingers to like lock up or pop out of place or sublux i guess is what they call it so i found all of that to be really helpful and i think it's worth sharing if you struggle with hypermobility or anything like that because they are very helpful tips and i'm pretty sure like all of the stuff even if it's not the medical stuff you can order it online so Anyway, thought I would update you guys. We're pretty much going to rest because I'm not feeling good at all. Like I'm saying, my arm is literally exhausted from just holding the phone for a few minutes. And I am just so tired. I had so much blood taken today and I had like four appointments and I just need to rest up before tomorrow. But I will try to update you guys tomorrow or throughout the day and then we leave on Saturday. But thank you for sticking along and for following us.
Hey guys, we are at Mayo Clinic for the second day and at 8.15 I have an echo, no, yeah, an echocardiogram and then I have another appointment at 10.45 with a physical therapist, so I'll update you guys then. Hi guys, sorry I would have updated you sooner, but I am exhausted and have been exhausted. So I came home and took a nap. We were planning to go to the beach, but it started storming and I wasn't feeling that good. I got my echocardiogram and I went to the physical therapist um, and pelvic floor specialist just because I have a lot of issues with my bladder and with my pelvic, my pelvis, whatever. And um, yeah, I had to get a vaginal and a rectal exam. 10 out of 10 wouldn't recommend, but um, yeah, they just found that everything is super tight, which apparently is very common with hypermobile patients. Um, I have a lot of muscos musculoskeletal pain, and they figured out where a lot of that is coming from, which is my hip joints, um, and some areas in my pelvis. I don't remember everything, but yeah, they just figured all of that out and also another thing that I didn't feel comfortable sharing but that I do now is that I have lichen sclerosis and she actually showed me and the doctor with her that or what made it known that I had lichen sclerosis and I'm not going to go into detail about that and um, also I wanted to show you guys the BioLite that I've been drinking this is the tropical flavor and um, it's the first time I've tried that one and it's really good I don't know if I can keep holding this actually and so that has been very um, helpful actually and it tastes pretty good like the drink is just salty and then um, I don't know, I know I say everything tastes like the colonoscopy prep, but it honestly kind of does because it's salty and it's sugary. And sorry, I keep looking over here. Jacob is now holding the camera because I got too tired, per usual. But it's like the liquid IVs, like I was telling you guys earlier in the video. So it's like the liquid IVs and um, it's good. I mean, I don't know how much it helps. I know that it helps the pain and the cramps, but I don't know how much it helps like the fatigue or anything. But maybe I'll update you guys on it later. We are probably going to go do a few things just because I'm so tired. But I will update you when we do something as long as I remember. But I did just want to let you guys know that. I did get um, like a diagnosis, I guess, of pelvic floor dysfunction. So apparently my brain is not doing a good job at communicating with my pelvis. Yeah. So I don't really know. I have a lot to learn. Okay. guys we actually did not end up going shopping or anything because I was dying in pain and yeah it was just not good at all and now we are at beachside I think that little sign up there says it and I'll maybe hopefully remember to show you the food when we get it but this is probably all we'll do I did want to tell you that I do have three other appointments scheduled for Mayo Clinic in November because they couldn't get them in while we were here and um, then I have a random appointment that was just scheduled which I don't know about yet with a cardiologist at the end of November so I don't know if they saw anything on my echocardiogram or electrocardiogram but we'll just have to see so Jacob got the fish and fried shrimp with fries and I just got the chicken and fries and it looks really good and it comes with hush puppies and we just got water and there's they have a bunch of random sauces hi i just wanted to close out the video and tell you guys that the food was really good we didn't end up going to the beach just because we are both really tired and yeah that food was good everything went pretty well and i'm glad we got some more answers and everything but thank you guys for watching please Leave comments of your prayer requests down below and just leave video recommendations or any questions that you have about anything. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.